this comparison and understand the Bible dictionary, the racist term that was created at the Conference of Jamnia in 90 AD, where they created the ham story, because that's what was created at the Conference of Jamnia in 90 AD, and ended up in the Babylonian Talmud in 550 AD. And this racist allegorical story, it talks about the curse of Ham, because he was, uh, Ham was drunk and naked and saw his father, Noah drunk and naked, supposedly he was cursed. Okay, because he witnessed his father in this condition. But it goes on to say, he became the progenitor of the dark races. Then they go on to say in the dictionary, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Oh, wait a minute now, not the, not the Egyptians, not the Ethiopians, not the, I mean, uh, so here you see, Okay, it says, The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way where I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, which is the land of Israel. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women 
and no man shall buy you. Now when it says no man shall buy you, that means that no man is going to save you. That's why we're still here. Because the, cur the curse said that. Okay, so, go back to this book called Eyebrows again. On page 11. So it said that we were going to be going into slavery. Let, slavery. Let's see what happens. It says to be sold on the on on board the the ship, Bonds, uh, Bonds Island, on Tuesday the sixth of May next at Ashley's Ferry, a choice cargo of fine one hundred and fifty fine healthy fine Hebrews. Now it says Hebrew there, but we we read that that that's really Hebrew. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me let me. Let me diverge into that real quick. So it says find Hebrews, right? Hebrews, right? So you would look at that and you would think that that's some damn African tribe. No. <laughs> that's a corruption of the word Hebrew. That's supposed to be find Hebrews. So let's go and prove it. Okay? Let's go into this book some more. Let, let's go get it out of the book. Okay, this is page 54. It says the first British explorers who met the Arabs in Nigeria were quick to identify them as a branch of Hebrews. See that? So the pe first people that came into West Africa, the explorers, identified us as a branch of Hebrews. This is in this guy. This was written by this guy named Baston, Doctor Baston, in 1938, and so simply referred to them as Hebrews, which became known as Hebrews, Ebos, and later Ibos. Now right here, what does it say? It says Hebos. What's the guy Dr. Baston told you that, that that's a corruption of the word Hebrew? Okay. It says, um I mean, uh, let me see okay, it says so also it says so also the, the Hebrews also refer to themselves as Hebrews, a corruption of Hebrew, or accepted, or they accepted to be called Hebo, Ebo, or Ibo, as a way of associating themselves with the emergent new culture of the colonial.